hi everyone welcome back to my channel a monk in cloud so in this channel we are going to discuss anything and everything related to your cloud computing so it can be aws azure uh, and gcp as well and we're also going to talk about some of the devops tools like jenkins your uh, docker and a lot more right so if you're visiting the channel for the first time please consider subscribing turn on the notification and let us learn together and explore the devops world so our use case for today is so we want to connect to our aws ec2 instances using aws session manager so why actually we need this one assume that you have an ec2 instance in a private subnet okay and you need to connect to the instance without using ssh or internet so if you remember so how do we log in uh, to your ec2 instance uh, usually is using ssh right so we use third-party tools like putty to log into our ec2 instances so if you want to neglect that if you do not want to use any private key or public key or any ssh connection how do you do that so for that we use something called as your session manager aws session manager so how do you do that actually so it is really simple you will have to create an im role for ec2 instance and attach this policy to that particular im role that you create right so this policy aw amazon ssm managed instance core so this policy will allow your ec2 instance to you can log into your ec2 instance in the browser itself without requiring any port or ssh enablement okay so these things are violated here right i mean these things are neglected so you don't have to worry about these things so and if you go with aws session manager it gives you extra security for your ec2 instance because you don't need to you don't have to worry about any ports no ports are needed to be allowed in the security group so initially if you want to log into your uh, you know ec2 instance whether it can be linux or windows in case of linux we were allowing ssh that is port 22 in the security group and in case of windows we were allowing rdp port that is a remote desktop protocol 3389 in the security group but with this option you don't have to allow anything okay and you can run these instances in the private subnet also and important thing that is that you don't need any ssh keys for connecting to your ec2 instance via session manager okay so these are the important points that you need to know and these are really important and because you you can delegate access to manage ec2 using iam roles right so we can create an iam role and we add that policy policy and that policy or the iam role will take care of you know this session manager okay so by default there are few uh, amis that is amazon machine images that will come with ssm installed so ssm is just like your uh, you know cloud watch agent it is just an agent which allows you to log in to your ec2 instances in the browser itself okay but it needs to be installed there are few amis that are provided by amazon that is already having ssm installed okay so you will have to check what are the amis that are already having ssm installed and if not if you want to enable this one what you can do is first time or the very first time you can log into the machine using ssh install ssm add that im policy and then you will for the next time you can delete everything you i mean you can delete the uh, you can uh, remove the ssh policy in your security group and then you will be able to work with that right so this is how you can secure your ec2 instance okay so enough of talking let's go to our aws management console and start 
building this one and see how it actually works okay but before that we'll see what are the amis that supports your ssm installment right so all the amis in aws supports uh, installing of ssm but there are few amis that are already installed with the ssm package right so let us go ahead and see those amis first and then let us go ahead and configure this one see you in the aws management console so as I already told you, there are some AMIs, Amazon machine images, which are having SSM agent pre-installed. So what are those AMIs? So if you see here, this is my official AWS documentation. And here I am seeing AMIs with SSM agent pre-installed. So if you see here, in most cases, SSM agent is pre-installed on AMIs provided by AWS for following operating systems. So you have Amazon Linux, this, this comes with uh, SSM installed already, Amazon Linux 2, this is the latest one, and this also comes with that AWS, Amazon EKS optimized uh, Amazon Linux AMIs, Mac OS, SUSE Linux, and these are the version numbers 12 and 15, Ubuntu server 16.04, 18.04, and 20.04 right and also windows server 2008 till 2012 r2 and windows server 2016 19 and 22 so these amis already will have ssm pre-installed but if you want to check if anything is wo not working for you if you want to check if your ami is having uh SSM installed or not, you can just run these commands based on the flavors of the uh, Linux that you are using. For example, if you are using Amazon Linux, you can just type in sudo systemctl status Amazon hyphen SSM hyphen agent. So you, if the status shows that it is available and active and running, that means that uh, that is already installed for your EC2 instance okay so let us go back to my management console this is my aws management console so let us select any one of the amis here okay i'll go with amazon linux 2 okay so let me go ahead and create an amazon linux 2 ec2 instance for that i would have to go to my ec2 console so if you want to just go to ec2 console go ahead and search for ec2 in the search and select ec2 If you see here, there are zero instances that are running right now. So let us go ahead and create an EC2 instance now. To do it, come to launch instance, click on launch instance, click on this one. It will open up a window where you can provide the details for your EC2 instance. Okay. So what is the name that you want to give? So I'll just say SSM test EC2. Okay, give a meaningful name for your EC2 instance and the one that we are intended to use is Amazon Linux. Okay, as we discussed, I'll select the same AMI and the architecture 64 bit is fine for me. Instance type, I will go with the minimum one that is t2.micro and that is free tier eligible. Okay, so I'll select that one. Key pair for time being, I'll select this one, but Anyway, we are not going to use this one because we are trying to use Amazon SSM, which doesn't require any keys or any uh, any keys for logging into your EC2 instance. OK, for just time being, I'll select this one. If you do not want that also, you can proceed without a key pair also. OK, I'll just select this one, but I'm not going to use it anyway. And this is my default VPC okay and security group i'll select my security group that i already have linux sg i'll select that one but i'm not going to use this also i will remove it later okay you can see that in the further demo in the same video but i'll select as of now and rest of the things i will keep that as default and click on launch instance so if you see here we got a dialogue saying successfully initiated with the launch of ec2 instance that confirms that our ec2 instance is ready for launching 
right so let us go ahead and view all instances okay so here automatically if you select that one uh, you will see instance state is equal to running that is a filter that is already applied right let me refresh the page once if you see here this is my ec2 instance that i just created ssm test ec2 the instance state is running but the status check is still initializing it this one will take couple of minutes and it will show two by two pass when it is uh, initialized and ready so i will pause the video until it gets a status check two by two passed and i'll come back once it is ready now if you see my status check is two by two checks passed okay so let us try and connect to this ec2 instance via systems manager or ssm okay so let me click on connect so here you can select many options ec2 instance connect session manager ssh client ec2 serial console right so these are the many options that we have but our intention is to go with session manager today so here if you see i'm in my session manager but this connect button is grayed out for me that is because either of these three things okay so first one ssm agent isn't installed on e instance so you will have to install so they will provide you the link also how to install you can go there get the command and install it okay but we saw that amazon linux 2 will come with ssm agent installed already so let us check that by using another method okay but let's see what is the next thing so the required IAM instance profile isn't attached to the instance, right? So this is what we haven't done yet. First, before that, let us connect to connect using EC2 instance connect and let us see if we have SSM agent installed or not. But this is not our actual uh, demonstration, right? So we are just confirming whether this Amazon Linux 2 that we selected has got your ssm agent installed so i'll just copy this command sudo systemctl status amazon hyphen ssm hyphen agent okay let me come back here so let me uh, paste that command here okay so i'll just paste that okay let me hit enter if you see it is active and it is running so since 17 minutes it is running actually but we are still getting that error the error because the reason is we haven't attached that uh, policy that we told in the theory, right? We haven't attached yet. So let us do that now. Let me exit out of it. Let me close this one. If you see here, we are still we are not able to uh, connect using session manager. Okay. So let us go to IAM console. Okay. Let me open IAM. Okay, let me go to roles. I will have to create a new role. Okay, so I'll click on create role. And this role is for EC2 instance, not a, uh, not for your own thing. We are creating it for EC2 instance. So we select use case as EC2 here. So if you are selecting other services, if you are using it for other services, make sure to select the right use case. But my thing is here i'll go with ec2 and click on next here i need to select a proper permission so what is the permission that we need let us go back to our presentation and here if you see this is what we need to provide so this is the policy this is actually already there so this policy is already provided by aws it is a built-in policy aws managed policy you can search for this one so select that one if you see amazon ssm managed instance core it is uh, the policy is managed by aws itself if you see aws managed i'll select that one and click on next okay here you need to provide a name to this one okay i'll just paste the same thing but here instead of these things i'll just say ec2 okay hyphen ssm access access 
role okay provide a meaningful name to your role i'll just copy the same thing and i'll paste the same thing in the description okay so this is what we get here this is our uh, trusted entities okay so trust policy and this is our actual policy amazon ssm managed instance core okay so let me select that one and go all the way down click on create role If you see here it is creating the role yet now if you see the role has been created okay so now let us go back to our ec2 instance and attach that role to this ec2 okay let me go back to my ec2 select the ec2 instance go to action okay under here select security and here modify iam role you need to provide your own iam role that we just created so if you see here if you do not create it for ec2 you will not be able to see the role here so while giving the common use case select ec2 right so i've selected that one here if you see ec2 ssm access role is here i'll just say update iam role this is all you have to do but if you go and check right now if i go back and check right now it is still you know rotating here that means it is still configuring it will take minimum 5 to 10 minutes of your time to enable this connect button here okay so please wait until then and then come back and check if you are able to log in via a yes, session manager do not come and comment in the uh, you know video saying that you are not able to see that even after attaching the role it will take time it will take some time a huge time i would say uh, if you if you just consider other services it would take minimum 5 to 10 or even more than 10 minutes okay i have seen it is taking more than uh, 10 minutes for the first time it will happen like this one but while creating the ec2 instance itself if you provide uh, you know iam role it will take comparatively less time so wait till it uh, you know it offers you this button and then you will be able to log in via session manager okay i'll come back after some time when it is enabled okay now if you see this connect is enabled for me for session manager previously it was disabled it was grayed out but right now i can you know see an orange button which says connect so if i just click on connect you will be able to connect to that ec2 instance without any key pair or uh, port anything right so if you go back to your ec2 instance and remove that uh, security group also it will work fine but if you remove that iam role it will not work right so make sure you set it up in a right way right so if not it will not going to work so let me just delete your ssh here and save it even then if i go back to my ec2 and click on connect if you see here i have that connect button enabled and i will be able to log in right so this doesn't require any uh, key pair or your port needs to be enabled nothing is required so there is some difference between your ec2 instance connect and with your uh, session manager so if you do not know go ahead and do some research on that or if you want me to make a video on it please you know note it down in the comments so that i can take a look and do it for you okay so this is how you can enable session manager for your ec2 instance all right so that's it for today's video if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one